Welcome back to Good Morning Vail. We're live at the Vail Arts Festival, and I've got a relatively local artist here, Alex Burke, out of Greeley, but you're here for your first time for the Vail Arts Festival, yes, is that right? my first time here, yes. Um, Looking so forward to it. Have you been, so you, I mean, what's your involvement with art festivals? Tell me, have you done a bunch in the past? Yeah. Have you, and have you been to this one before? I haven't been to this show, but I've been doing shows for about six years now, and I go anywhere about from uh, the mid Midwest all the way out to Utah and such to do shows. So this is your first one here in the mountains of the Vail area? The Vail area, yes. So I do a lot of Colorado mountain shows. I'll be up in the mountains all summer. So this is exciting for you then, right? Yep, absolutely. I always like these shows. And it looks like your medium is photography. So tell us about, kind of tell us about your, your history, your background. How did you get into taking photos? Were you a kid when it all started? And, and how has it kind of transpired? I was about 18. I actually grew up in Estes Park, Colorado, which if anyone knows is right by Rocky Mountain National Park. So real nice mountain town, and we have Rocky Mountain right there, beautiful views. So I really got out into hiking, got outdoors a lot, and eventually I wanted to capture that beauty. So um, for me, I've gone a different route from most people in my age group. I've still stuck with large format film for my photography, so it's a 4 by 5 inch big sheet, uh, big negative. And it's one of those folding bellows cameras, and it's a kind of unique process, which is what gives the images a lot of enlargement capability and a unique look these days. So when you say your medium or the way you take your photos is different, you're using a bigger, different kind of, an, is it an older camera, or is it yes. they still make them currently today? It's just not a lot of people use them. You can actually buy these cameras today, but um, mostly you buy them used, and not many people use them at all. They're a little bit of studio stuff, some landscape people doing them, but it was the way it's been done for about 100 years, um, and most people switched to digital in the last 10 to, f 10 to 15, so. And you just think that, I mean, you had a, you have an eye for certain things, right? You just kind of, as you're hiking around, which is the perfect venue for the photographs that you have here, they're all taken when you're out and about, exploring different things, enjoying the outdoors, and then bam, then there's that, that, that perfect photo, and you see it, right? Absolutely, yeah. It's all about the right time, right light. Sometimes you go out there, and it doesn't work out for you, but you find scenes, and you come back later. Um, but I, want, I like compositions that bring the viewer into the image and really just makes it something that will last forever with them. I think that's beautiful. So while you're here, are you going to have a chance to explore a little bit and maybe find some of those beautiful photos? You said you saw a great sunset last night. Yeah, already. I was up uh, near the Piney Lake area, oh, yeah. and there was a beautiful sunset over the Gore Range there, um, just right as the storm was clearing out. It was uh, where I was able to get off one sheet of film up there, so pretty excited about that. When so. you say one sheet of film, is that... How many pictures is that? One exposure, one <laughs> one picture. I, I typically, on a pretty amazing light, I'll only take one, two, maybe three shots. So it's a very focused kind of thing. It takes a lot of time to set up this kind of equipment. So it's a very different process for most people. A lot of people will shoot 100 shots yeah. at, at a, during nice light, and I just take a couple at most. And then, But you don't know right away what it's going to look like, right? I mean, yeah. you have to wait and develop it, basically. Absolutely. I do all my own developing, so sometime next week I'll... I'll get that all figured out and see what they look like. So it's always exciting. I like that after years of doing it, over a decade, you, you have an idea of what things are going to look like, but there's always some surprises. So that's the, that's the fun of it, I think. That anticipation, right? Absolutely, all yeah. Right. Well, it's nice to have you here, Alex. Thanks for being a part of the Vail Arts Festival. Swing by Alex's tent, his 10 by 10. He's located right on the Arabelle Ice Rink, right in the heart of Lion's Head, right behind the escalator. Thanks for coming out. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Right on. Good luck. We got to look at that weather forecast coming up right after the break.